Hello, welcome to this uh, tutorial. Today we are going to learn how we can use, how we can deploy QTS Cloud on Alibaba Cloud. Okay, so we have already done a lot of uh, tutorials about how we can deploy QTS Cloud on AWS, on Microsoft Azure, on DigitalOcean, and uh, today we are going to cover the Alibaba Cloud. Okay, so before we go ahead, let me show you what steps we are going to cover in today's tutorial i'll give you a brief introduction or just a brief workflow and um, so today we are going to cover the seven steps uh, the first is i'm going to introduce uh, all the alibaba cloud services to you uh, the purpose of this is just so to let our users know that you know uh, which all uh, services you will need to create qts cloud instance uh, then the next step would be to create a object storage bucket in Alibaba and then we have to upload the QTS cloud VHD file to the bucket and then next we have to create an image within the ECS uh, and then we have to create the ECS instance using this image uh, then we'll do the instance configuration and at the end we'll set up the security groups okay so these are the seven steps that we need in order to create a QTS Cloud instance. So let's begin with the first step that is introducing all the Alibaba Cloud services. Uh, here is a snapshot of all the services, uh, not all, I think just the major services that we have on Alibaba Cloud. Uh, as you can see, you know, they have a wide range of services uh, starting from compute, networking, storage, database, DevOps. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of services, and of course, for first time, uh, for first time user, it could be really intimidating to see so many different services. But uh, the good thing is, uh, you don't have to worry about all these services because, for our purpose, we just need ECS, that is Elastic Compute Service, this one, and we are going to use the uh, block storage of. Uh, uh, and we are going to use the storage services okay and mostly I think object storage service not the block storage the object storage service okay so these are the only two services we are going to use now let's go back to the Alibaba console now here you can see uh, I'm, I have already logged into my Alibaba console and you can see the list of all the different services here I think this is the complete list and as I said you don't have to worry about all of them we will need only these elastic compute service and we will need uh, uh, the other one is uh, storage object storage service this one so I can already see it here on my left panel elastic compute service and object storage service okay so these are the only two services we need for today's tutorial okay so next step is creating the object storage bucket now let's go back to our console and I'll click on object storage service here okay so once I click on object storage service the first thing I have to do is I have to create an object storage bucket click on buckets and you can click on create bucket now again let me tell you something this is just a one time thing uh, you don't have to create a bucket every time you create a QTS cloud instance on Alibaba this is just for one time thing but because we are teaching you from the very beginning how to do this we have to show you how to create a bucket and how to upload the file in the bucket okay so it's just a one time thing so whenever you have to create a new instance of QTS cloud uh, you don't need to do this step again okay so click on create bucket here and let's call this we have to give it some name so let's call it a seam one demo okay and region uh, you can pick up a region which is closest to you the important thing is you have to remember what region you are going to use because the same region you have to use for ECS also okay for elastic club uh, compute service so Within the different services of uh, Alibaba or any cloud service, you can choose different locations and regions, but it's important that you keep all the regions same, okay? Uh, for our case, uh, we'll choose the one which is uh, geographically closest to us, so I'll choose China, Hong Kong. I'll recommend you that you can also use a, a location which is uh, closest to you uh, geographically, okay? And just click on OK. So I have created a bucket. 
Now the next step is I have to upload the QTS cloud VHD file to this bucket. Okay, so let's go to this bucket here uh, in this bucket. Okay, so I think this is the bucket, a scene one demo. And in this bucket, you can see the files. Click on files. What you need to do is you have to upload the file. You have to upload the file from your local system or from your local machine. Now, how to get the file? You can go to the QTS Cloud landing page, this one, QTS Cloud landing page. I'll post the link in the description later. You can go to the QTS Cloud landing page, scroll down, and on the bottom, you will see the option to download the image. Okay. Uh, for Alibaba Cloud, you will need VHD format file. Okay. So you can just click on this download button, and once you download, the Ali uh, the VHD file uh, will download on your local machine so I have already downloaded it so I'm not going to show you how to download this so next step is you have to upload that on your bucket so let's click on the upload button here and once I do that I have to click on the I can upload the file so yeah so this is on your local on my local machine I can just choose this VHD file and I click on the open button once I do that you can see the status of my image upload so it's uh, uploading uh, pretty fast uh, so I think it'll take maybe one or two minutes so in the meantime I can just uh, show you that uh, you know this is our uh, landing page for QTS cloud so all the information you can find here uh, you can also just go to the QNAP uh, website and on the QNAP website uh, you can navigate through products and go to cloud NAS and from cloud NAS just click on QTS cloud uh, cloud based NAS and once you just open this uh, you will be redirected to the QTS cloud landing page okay uh, all the information related to QTS cloud can be found on this page and uh, important thing is uh, you can scroll down and uh, we have listed down the system requirements uh, so you can see here uh, here are the system requirements and you can see we need a minimum of 2 GB memory so for QTS cloud doesn't matter which cloud uh, platform you use uh, you always have to choose uh, your instance uh, configuration to be at least 2 GB memory um, less than 2 GB memory uh, I think uh, uh, it's not recommended and it will not work okay 4 GB is recommended and minimum 2 GB is needed all right so that's uh, an important uh, system requirement another one is when you add uh, data uh, data disks uh, the minimum uh, data size needed is 144 GB but we recommend 200 GB so if you want to create storage pool uh, in your QTS cloud NAS we recommend you to use at least 200 GB disk okay so later on when I configure the QTS cloud instance I'll show you uh, how you can add a 200 GB uh, disk okay so let's go here and you can see my image has been uploaded I think it's pretty fast so that's quite impressive now this is the um, uh, file that has been uploaded so this is my VHD file okay and you can see the VHD file is here what I need is I'll go to view details here and what I need is I need this URL okay so I'll just copy this URL copy file URL okay so because I'll need this file URL for creating an image uh, on the e inside the ECS. Let me show you. Okay, so this completes our third step that is uploading QTS Cloud VHD file to the bucket. The next is I have to create image within ECS. So let's go to our ECS service. Now so far we have been using object storage service. The object storage service allows you to upload the files to the uh, uh, on Alibaba okay once you have uploaded the file the next thing is you have to use those files to do something so you go to elastic compute service so yeah so this is the elastic compute service uh, dashboard and inside the elastic compute service you go to this instances and images this one instances and images and in instances and images click on images here once you click here what you need to do is you have to create or import that file here and create an image okay so um, go here on the import image button manually import 
and here again an important thing is you have to choose your region is the same one if your region is different from what you chose in the object storage you can change the region here okay because i have already uh, my region is already china hong kong so that's a good thing but if your region is something else uh, then i'll recommend you to change your region to the same one which you used for object storage because if your uh, region is different you will not be able to access your uh, files saved in the bucket okay click on import image manually import and uh, this is where you have to paste the address, the, the, the address that we copied, the URL which we copied. So you have to paste the URL here and let's give this image some name, uh, a scene one demo image, okay. And uh, for operating system, you have to choose Linux. Um, here, uh, the system disk size, so the image size you can keep, uh, I mean, we just need uh, 500 MB, but you, the minimum you have to choose is 5 GB because uh, if you see if I if I choose 1 GB it will not allow so I think in Alibaba you have to choose at least 5 GB so keep it 5 GB uh, system architecture you keep uh, x86 and for platform you can go for others Linux for image format choose VHD that's it so this is how it's done and you click on OK and once you click here on OK your image will start uh, specific image is being imported okay so you can see this is the image a seam one demo image IMG and you can see the status is waiting and the progress is zero percent that means this image is currently being uh, imported so what is happening is from your object storage bucket that file is currently being imported in your image on ECS okay so this completes our this step as well creating image within the ECS after this step is completed the next will be we have to create the instance ECS instance using this particular image now as you can see this image is uh, still in progress so what we can do is we can go ahead with the previous image which we used so this is the image I created today itself and it's the same file I, it, it is using the same file but what we can do is instead of waiting for this to complete we can just go and use this image okay so once this image will be completed uh, you will get an option to create instance so click on this create instance once you do that you will be navigated to the Alibaba ECS dashboard and in the billing method now you have to do some configuration so first is in the billing method you can choose pay as you go or subscription based on your choice a region you have to keep uh, China Hong Kong or the same one whatever you choose okay and for us uh, we are going to choose x86 architecture uh, we don't support bare metal instances currently so I recommend you not to use this and for the sake of this tutorial I will choose uh, uh, this the most simplest one and as I told you we need at least uh, 2 GB memory and 4 GB is recommended so the minimum one I see is this one so I'll just choose this one okay so I'll pick up this particular configuration once I do that uh, you don't have to change this because you already chosen the image uh, once I do that and the next thing is uh, storage for your uh, system image so I think for your system image you don't need 40 GB but the minimum is 20 GB so you have you can choose 20 GB because our system image si uh, size is just I think uh, 500 MB so the minimum you have to choose is 20 GB so just keep here just use this one um, the next is you have to add data disk now as I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial that for system requirements uh, our system requirement uh, needs you to have at least 200 GB for creating a storage pool so I'll recommend you to use 200 GB okay if you want you can add more disks but for the sake of this video just keep one single disk data disk okay and you can go next okay so here uh, for uh, for Hong Kong I think uh, you will get this option and you can just click and choose the default uh, settings okay and you don't have to do much here so you can just click uh, and go ahead and uh, for key pair uh, let's uh, do it later uh, you don't need it it's, a, it's not compulsory for you to set the key pair so you can just set it later and uh, click on next and uh, I think you can just leave these settings go ahead 
and uh, just click on the ECS terms of service and click on create instance and once you do that your instance yeah as you can see your instance is created and you can go to console I think the name let's check what is the name of the instance I think I, I forgot to rename the instance or give it some other name so this is the instance that we created just now I think the name is launch Ad advisor 2024 16 so which is today's date so as you can see the instance is currently starting so we'll just wait for it to start yeah as you can see the instance is uh, running so I think it's uh, ready now what you need to do is uh, we can just click on this instance and yeah so all the information related to this instance you can see here configuration information basic information networking payment every, everything you can see here okay so what we need to do is um, we have to choose the security groups so let me go back to the tutorial uh, layout so we have created the instance we have configured the instance so the last step is to set up the instance security groups okay so let's do that so uh, once you open the instance let's say this is the instance uh, you just click on this instance and once you go uh, once you open the instance go here on the security groups once you go here on the security groups you can see these are the default security groups uh, provided for uh, provided by Alibaba so what you can do is click on add rules okay and what we we'll like to do is we'd like to add I think uh, uh, I would like to add port 8080 I think it's already there port 8080 is there port 80 is there and 443 is also there so I think you don't need to add anything if if uh, in your security group you don't see these uh, rules what you can do is you can add uh, port 8080 and give it priority 1 and you can add uh, port 80 and give it priority 1 let me show you how you can do this okay so just uh, add security group rule okay and just go here and type let's say port 80 give it priority 1 and for authorization object uh, click on learn more and uh, once you click on learn more just scroll down to this uh, uh, page and copy paste this thing just copy paste it here that's it and once you do that just click on OK and your security rule or uh, your uh, rule for the security group is added okay so because we already have it so we don't need it so let's uh, go back to our instance so this is my instance and uh, sorry this is my security group let's me uh, so this is my instance okay so on the instance I can just uh, uh, go to uh, the configuration and I can copy paste the IP address so this is the IP just copy paste this IP and you can put it in your browser and as you can see you will be redirected to the QTS cloud initialization page okay and uh, so that completes our uh, setup once you click on this smart in uh, start smart installation you will be asked to enter the license so uh, this part will be covered in another video we'll do another video where we'll show you uh, how to enter the license and how to initialize okay but for the sake of today's video uh, we have completed all the steps okay so that's that's all for uh, this video uh, for this tutorial uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, do let us know uh, as I said before we will do a lot of other videos uh, where we'll uh, show you uh, how to set up a QTS cloud on different cloud platforms and then we'll also do different videos based on what kind of user scenarios you can uh, cover uh, with QTS cloud okay